sustainable future um, means obviously many things to many different people. To our organization, to Corn Ferry, it really means sustainable and enduring leadership because of, because of what we do. Uh, we are uh, the largest search firm globally, just in terms of a little bit about us, and uh, we recruit executives across sectors. Um, in terms of my practice area, which is international development, uh, we do searches for CEOs, vice presidents, um, heads of HR, and basically the C-suite within the sector of international development. So sustainable, just the shorter answer to your question, sustainable uh, future really depends on um, how strong a leader is or how strong the talent is at an organization because that really determines uh, success and also impact of the organization within our sector. Uh, what I've been struck by so far at the SID World Congress is uh, just the number of attendees and actually the diversity of attendees as well, people from far corners of the globe as I said earlier and then also uh, people who've come from just, who uh, come here because they care about international development just from different sectors, different disciplines, different sets of experiences and I think this truly is, I know it sounds cliche, but it truly is a World Congress. Uh, because people are coming here to exchange ideas and share best practices. SID can be helpful to individuals in the private sector uh, just by engaging them more and having them come to sessions whether it's at the DC chapter or in their local chapters and I think uh, just networking um, or having these professionals network with people in international development can get them engaged very quickly. I think in the private sector people are uh, interested in international development they just don't know a whole lot about what a career in international development can look like and I think it can be very exciting I mean you know visiting foreign countries and travel aside, I think just the sheer impact you can have on people's lives really um, is huge. I think it's interesting, there's, there's been a very, uh, a very sort of big push and trend and growth in public-private partnerships and I think that's where you're going to see that, where you see that nexus between um, government, private sector and nonprofits. and I think there are more organizations now really kind of bringing those three sectors together and I think that will be attractive and appealing for people not just in private sector but again just in other walks of life too, how they can come and contribute in a variety of different ways. I think uh, for the SID Washington chapter what would be really helpful is if we can have briefings around what we learned and took away from this SID World Congress and then uh, perhaps have sessions that uh, or topics that really became uh, very critical or that became popular at sort of the top two or top three and then have more sessions around them. Just, just in terms of continuity so when you get to the next SID World Congress or even any SID Washington chapter events, um, I think it would be a more meaningful discussion.